Welcome to another episode of Solitaire Quest. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Bloodganistan. Like, share, and subscribe. Right now, at this moment, today, I'm reviewing the Studio Ghibli film The Wind Rises. And yeah. Watching a lot of Studio Ghibli films. Because, yeah, when you, uh, when you watch, uh, Castle in the Sky, when you, when you, when you wanna, when you, when you watch Castle, Castle in the Sky, or a movie like Spirited Away, it's like, you're, you get curious, it's like, what else, what else has this studio done? You, you, you get curious. And that, and that curiosity leads you to buying buying product which is which is that which is absolutely normal you know uh, I don't see why don't see why capitalism is so controversial but that's neither here nor there so anyway let's get into it let's get into the wind rises and we got some kids sleeping in a Japanese house Kid gets into a homemade gliding airplane and uh, crashes. It was all just a dream. There's a Japanese village and it's 1918. Kid intervenes into some, between some bullies. Kid has dreams of being a pilot. Kid imagines large planes, dreams of an Italian guy who makes the planes. And they go on to a transport plane, and yeah, this, this definitely get like a fun and hopeful vibe from this movie. And the kid wants to make planes. We got a nice Italian sounding soundtrack. The kid is older now, and he's uh, traveling on a train. He speaks French now a little bit. And we got this little line, uh, the wind is rising, we must try to live. And here's the words of the disembodied uh, Italian guy. And then an earthquake happens, and then, uh, and then the train and the town, then and the train derails. And, uh, da -da 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 -da. Kid helps out a girl and her mom. Fires have started in the town. Aftershocks happen and then there's more fires. Guy takes the girl and her mom to a shrine with other people. The university is on fire. Italian guy builds a huge plane. And it folds in half. Just fucking breaks up. And the Japanese guy is haunted by the disembodied voice of the Italian guy. Fish bones inspire the guy as things as things are rebuilt. The guy gets a measuring tool back that he used to help the girl out because she had like a broken leg. And her house, find out her house burnt down. Guy encourages her sister to be a doctor. Everyone is trying to get money out of the bank, which is when the depression happens. Guy gets a job, imagines a plane crashing. Guy looks at the strut and there's problems. There's cows to pull aircraft into position. Plane breaks up at 400 kilometers. No Falcon, there's no Falcon 2 project. There's going to be uh, working on a bomber. And the guy's going to Germany to learn stuff. Tries to give, then he, uh, he's, out, he's outside a shop, tries to give some sponge cake to some kids. Wrote down there's some great animation. And yeah, the Japanese guy and his friend, they go see a huge German bomber. In Germany, 
Meanwhile, the Nazis are running things. The guy looks at another plane. They fly in the huge plane and look inside it. Germans stonewall them at every turn. We see some secret police chase the guy. The guy sees a plane go down in his dreams. The guy is on a train. There's another dream sequence with the Italian guy. Oh, and we got this. We got this line I liked. We got this line. Which would you choose? A world with pyramids or without? I like that. That is. That is really, really interesting. Like, that is some deep metaphysical wisdom right there. He's asking, it's like, would you, would you choose to live in a world without wonder or a world with wonder and mystery? You know, the pyramids, trying to, people still, still don't know how they built the pyramids back in the day. And the best guesses uh, say that it would be a lot. It would be a lot, a lot of work to build the pyramids with the with technology they had. And yeah, the dream Italian guy laments that his planes are going to be used for war. Japanese guy sees the the plane in his head. Now the guy gets to be Japanese guy gets to be the lead engineer on a plane plane project. There's a plane engine that fails and there's problems. The guy's plane gets built. We get the revving of the engine sound as the plane takes off and flies. The guy is walking and then the umbrella hits the guy. And it's the girl from before that, uh, it's like the girl that was with the other girl that he helped. And then the dude saw his plane crash. The guy meets up with the girl and they're at a water spring. Storm comes and, uh, they get caught in the rain. There's an older German guy. Sits with the Japanese engineer, and the girl got a fever and she couldn't show up for dinner because the guy got invited for dinner. Guy goes outside for a cigarette during the daytime. The guy flies a a paper plane to the girl, and then he flies more paper planes till he gets it right. German guy plays some songs on the piano, and yeah, the magic mountain heals all, which I like that. And the guy asked for his for the father's blessing for the girl. We find out the girl has tuberculosis, which t t tuberculosis that's like that's like a pre coof pre coof coof. It's the pre tuberculosis is the uh, pre coof coof back in the day. And there's paint, she's painting on a hill. And the plane is flying in the guy's imagination. Dude has a great idea. The cops are looking for the guy for some reason because I think he talked to the old German guy. The tuberculosis gets to the girl. Her lungs aren't uh, doing too good. The girl is on her not quite deathbed, and uh, and him and the girl embrace. The next day, the guy sees the navy. Dude designs the fighter aircraft. Suggests uh, that he leaves the guns out of the aircraft to make it fly better. <laughs> and uh, boss 
Boss guy is still up tight. Girl is up in the mountains at a sanatorium to get better from the tuberculosis. Girl goes to see the guy in the city. They're going to have a marriage tonight at the boss's house, and the boss gets uh, teary. The sister becomes a doctor. The girl condition, it, we find out that the girl's condition is bad. Dude is working at home. Go to the office. The bomber the friend is talking about will apparently light up just by getting shot at. Dude falls asleep beside his wife when he gets home. The girl goes for a walk to the train back to the sanatorium to get better. The plane flies and it's successful. The town is on fire and there's a bunch of wrecked planes as the guy goes to see the dream Italian guy. And he sees the squadrons of his planes fly off into the sky, never to return. And yeah, sees the Italian guy. For the, the dream Italian guy. And then we see his wife is in dreamscape and she dissolves into the wind. And that's how the movie ends. So yeah, I, I liked, I like this, I like this film. It's like we got the dream Italian guy who's the aircraft designer, and yeah, he inspires the Japanese guy to build airplanes, and it's a nice historical film about like the creation of like the the Japanese aircraft. That was used in World War Two. You know? It's like you still have even to the end of the movie, you still have a you still have the opt you still have like an optimism look optimistic look at things. And it's sad because the guy just wants to build a really awesome plane and it's gonna get used for war. You know, you kinda that's the sad thing, you know? It's just like the Italian guy. It's like, he's sad that his planes are going to be used to kill people. And he just wants to fly, like, uh, big aircraft, big transport aircrafts. To, like, trans people from place to place. And, yeah. Yeah, it's, so the movie sort of hits you in the feels. It's got some it's got some messaging there it's like yeah it's crazy stuff crazy crazy interesting crazy fun you know oh man movie was so deep hit you in the feels dude dude's wife doesn't fucking make it at the end of the movie I think the dude died that's why he was seeing, like, the dream Italian guy at the end of the movie? I think so. And, yeah. It's crazy stuff. My... Yeah, definitely, yeah. Definitely go pick up uh, this movie if you're looking for something interesting. If you're looking, uh... If you're looking for something that has meaning, you know? Yeah, yeah. Go go watch this movie. Find find out for yourself if you wanna if you like it. You know, that's all I gotta say. But yeah, this is uh definitely a feel. Definitely, there's a there's a hidden feel. There's stealth. There's stealth feel seeking missiles in this movie, folks. Real real stealthy feel seeking missiles, man. Go watch this movie if you uh, if you wanna if you wanna feel some stuff, you know. Get hit with the stealth feel seeking missile feel ah uh, the stealth feel seeking missiles. But yeah, so yeah, I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Blood Ganistan. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay frosty. Stay sexy, San Diego.
Get your jewels in one where you can. I'm a spaceman. Peace out.